Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today we're going to be going over some NBA DFS picks on both DraftKings and FanDuel for today. But before we get started, we're going to take a quick look back at yesterday's picks and see how they turned out. So on the DraftKings side, we have Malachi Flynn, $5,500. Looking for 27, 28 points at him, got to 37, so he was a hit. Obviously, these were the adjusted lines that I did post later on in the day. Then I had Terrence Mann, $4,900. No Paul George, no Kawhi Leonard, no Marcus Morris in this game. You know, you're looking for 24, 25 out of him, got to 16, so he was a mess. Just didn't shoot the ball quite too well yesterday. Then we had Kent Bazemore, and he was $4,800, looking for 24 out of him, got to 25.5, so he was a hit. Warriors actually were ahead enough in this game that they really didn't have to play anybody of value in the final quarter, so he probably could have had a bigger day if this game was a little bit closer. Then Kyle Anderson, you know, we've been playing him four, five, six straight games. Been paying off big time. He has $6,000 looking for 30 points on him. He got to 22.25, so he is finally a miss once again. So maybe we'll lay off him a little bit now, but you know, sometimes when the train's rolling good, it's hard to get off the tracks. Then, last but not least, we got Hassan Whiteside, $3,600 looking for 18 points on him, got 36.25, so he was a massive hit, 10 times value there. Then, over on the FanDuel side, we had Job ja Morant, $7,000 looking for 35 points out of him. Got to 31.3, so he was a mess. Probably not one that killed you too bad overall, though. Then shooting guard Landry Shamit, $3,700. Looking for 18, 19 points out of him. Got to 20.7, so he was a hit. RJ Barrett had been playing more minutes, had been playing better. $6,100, looking for 30, 31 points out of him. Only got to 20.3 yesterday, so he was a miss. Then at power four, we have Pascal Siakam. $8,600, looking for 43 points out of him, got to 49.2, so he was a hit. And then Hassan Whiteside, once again, $3,600. Looking for 18 points out of him, got to 40.8 on the Fandle side, so he was a massive, massive hit, over 10 times value on that Fandle side. So overall, pretty hit or miss day. We had some really good big hits, but then there's a couple misses in there as well. Still had a pretty solid day overall, though. Uh, but with that being said, we'll get into today's slate and look at the injuries in play. So today is a short slate, four-game slate. Uh, just be sure you guys are playing a little bit lighter today since there is a little less variance with these shorter slates. So the first game we got is the Bucks and the Hawks. Giannis is a game-time decision. We'll see if he's back today or not. Then the Hawks have the same five guys out as the last time. Trey Young and Gallinari, both game-time decisions. Just have to see if they play as we get closer to game time. Trey Young doesn't play if Gallinari doesn't play. You got guys like Bogdanovich, Kevin Herter, Brandon Goodwin looking like a lot better plays once again. Then for the Golden State Warriors, Eric Pichel still out. Kelly Oubre Jr., game time decision, unlikely to play. So pretty much what we were looking at yesterday as well. Then for the Cleveland Cavaliers, obviously we're looking at Colin Sexton, game time decision. Dylan Windler, game time decision. And Dotson, game time decision as well. Obviously the one that really matters is Colin Sexton if he plays. Uh, obviously you could play him today especially on a shorter slate if he doesn't play garland looks a little bit better or cora looks a little bit better kevin love looks a little bit better kind of helps out a couple different pieces there then we move over to the celtics evan fournier game time decision we'll see if he's back today or not i would just plan on having him not be back today if it was me but we'll just have to see then for the lakers Pretty much everybody's a game time decision besides the three guys that have been out for a while now. We'll see who ends up playing out of this crew. And unless your name's Contavious Kyle Pelt, Ben McLemore, Montrez Harrell, or Alex Caruso, pretty much everybody's a game time decision. So this is going to be a major spot to watch out for today. We'll see if um, some of these guys get ruled out or in. Should know pretty early on in the day, though. Last but not least, we have the Kings and the Suns. For the Kings... Pretty much exactly the same as we saw yesterday. Buddy Heald did play yesterday, so I would expect him to play once again today. Marvin Bagley, Rashawn Holmes, both out. So we're looking at another Hassan Whiteside day if you want to go back to him once again. And then the Suns just have Nader out. So pretty much the same as they've been for a while now. But with that being said, that's pretty much a quick little rundown on the injuries for today's slate. We'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off with point guard position. we got Steph Curry. Been playing outstanding lately. Or he had like 60 fantasy points yesterday, and he barely played the fourth quarter if at all. So when Steph's feeling it, sometimes you just have to keep playing him. $10,600 is a little bit of a hefty price, but, you know, you're looking for 53 points out of him, been playing very well. Goes against Cleveland, not a very good team overall, so there is a little bit of blowout risk there, but we saw yesterday, even with the blowout, he still can outperform his salary. 
Then shooting guard is one position that I'm not like too keen on today. I got Contavious Caldwell Pope looking for 22 out of him, averaging 17 on the season. Getting a couple more shots lately. If his shot's going down, he's definitely going to pay off. Then at small forward, we got Kent Bazemore once again, $4,900. Pretty much the same price as yesterday. Pretty much looking for the same thing as we were yesterday. Still going to be in that starting lineup with Kelly Oubre likely out once again. So nothing's really changed here at all from yesterday to today. Then at power forward, I want Cam Johnson, you know, $3,400 looking for 17 points out of him. Averaging 18, 19 on the season. So kind of right in line. You're going to have to pick a value spot at some point today. And he was one that just kind of made a little bit of sense for me today. Goes against the Kings. Should be a pretty good matchup for him as well. Then at center, going right back to Hassan Whiteside. $3,600 yesterday, $3,400 today. So he's actually cheaper. Rashawn Holmes still out. So he's going to be in play today. Looking for 17 points out of him, averaging 19 on the season. We saw him get 36 yesterday. Why would you not play him on DraftKings today? But if you go with these five players on DraftKings for today, you have $23,300 left over, just under $7,800 per player. So definitely some room. You could probably pay up for two studs and then find a real cheap guy or a real cheap dart throw to fill in that last spot. So definitely a lot of options out there today. And I think some of that value is going to be dictated once we hear some of these guys being in and some of these guys being out. So definitely going to be a very good four-game slate. And typically, you know, I don't like these four-game slates, but this one doesn't look too bad to me, honestly. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my picks over there as well. So on the Fandle side, we got point guard Steph Curry once again. Pretty much everything I said on the DraftKings side have been playing outstanding lately. You're looking for about 53 points out of him, averaging 47 on the season. Don't really have any worries with Steph Curry here today. Then shooting guard is really, it wasn't pretty on DraftKings, and I think it's probably even uglier on FanDuel, honestly. I went with Tyrese Halliburton. You know, it's not been in that starting lineup, but he's still getting pretty decent minutes. At $5,400, we're looking for 27 points out of him, averaging 28 and a half, essentially, on the season. Goes against Phoenix, so it's not the best matchup in the world, but, you know, on a day like today where you need to find some value, find a guy that's kind of in that middle price range, definitely not a guy that you can go completely wrong with today. Then a small four, we went Kent Bazemore once again, $5,000. Pretty much everything we saw on the DraftKings side, looking for 25 points out of him. He's going to give you that today as long as he's out there on the court and halfway producing. So there's not too much else to say about him. Cleveland's a very good matchup as well. At power forward, I went with Harrison Barnes, $5,800, looking for 29 points out of him, averaging 30 on the season. He's kind of been up and down this season. Honestly, this isn't a bad matchup for him by any means. Obviously, he typically plays better when there's guys missing. Marvin Bagley's still missing. You know, Rashawn Holmes is missing. You got De'Aaron Fox taking a step up. Buddy Hill's been kind of dealing with illness, not quite 100%, at least yesterday. Hopefully, you know, he's better today, but he still might not be 100% today, so that could help out Harrison Barnes as well. Mo Harkless in that starting lap's not a guy that's going to take away a lot of usage or anything like that, so... There's a lot of good factors for Harrison Barnes here. He's like the only power forward that projected decently well for me today on the FanDuel side, so that's why I went with him. Then last but not least, you know, you could play Hassan Whiteside here at $5,000. You'd be looking for 25 points out of him. Definitely can get you that. I went with Kevon Looney, just a little bit cheaper price, getting the minutes. Playing against Cleveland, he's going to have to play a pretty good amount of minutes in this game, honestly. No James Wiseman, no Eric Pichel. Not really a lot of guys behind him. Draymond can step into that five role, but he's not going to play significant minutes there, especially against a guy like Jared Allen. So $3,500, you're looking for 17, 18 points out of Kevon Looney. Averaging about 13 so on the season, but you know he's a guy that he's relatively cheap, pay down option, can get you 20 points, not going to hurt you too much overall. But if you go with these five players over on FanDuel, you have $29,800 left over, $7,450 per player remaining. So you're going to have to mix and match a little bit here today. Obviously, I picked pretty much Kings and uh, Warriors, so they might eliminate some of those options as well. But there's a lot of decent plays out there today, and there's going to be more plays out there as the value comes out throughout the day. But with that being said, these are my picks for today, April 15th, on both FanDuel and DraftKings. As always, I'll be posting all the news, injury updates, and starting lineups down in the comments below, so be sure to check them out throughout the day. Obviously, we have the 130 injury report that comes out, the 530 injury report, and then the news kind of right before the games as well. 
And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And then with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. it really helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. And that's truly one for you, the viewers. Helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL. Helping you guys with your fantasy football teams. Talking all the different football news this offseason, especially as we head into that NFL draft. I'm going to be talking a lot about the different positional groups, players that I like. But with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, post up daily NBA DFS videos like this. I'm going to be covering some fantasy football and some NFL draft coverage as well. Definitely be sure to check that out. If you guys haven't already done so, be sure to check out the link in my description below too to the True North Fantasy Football Team on YouTube as well. Um, definitely a big part of them, I'm doing some writing for them. Going to be doing some NFL draft coverage as well over there. They're going to be doing a live stream at least on day one and day two. We might have one on day three as well. Still working out on the details of that as well. So definitely be sure to just subscribe to those guys as well and be sure to check out all that coverage coming in the coming weeks. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.